Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, my name is Matthew, and today, well, we're back at it again. The Godzilla Collection videos. So, um, it's been a long time since I last done one of these, uh, because, well, the last one I did was back in December of 2022, I believe, actually. And the reason why I stopped was because... I felt like it was better if the individual videos had their time to shine and I could show my collection in pieces. However, you guys have pretty much already seen like a majority, if not the whole collection at this point, just via the individual videos. And I thought I might as well have one extended video. Like, I don't know how long this is going to be, but I know it's going to be pretty freaking long. So I'm going to make this one big special video. Um here in September of 2024 so over like almost two years later we're finally bringing back the collection videos so um first of all we have just to kind of kick things off we have this shelf here which is comprised of U2's figures and some miscellaneous lines so for the U2's we have the original Godzilla the original Mothra original Ghidorah and original Mechagodzilla and back here we have the Godzilla vs Kong set Kong on Throne, and the Godzilla with uh, Heat Ray. And then over here we have the Vinnie Mays Godzilla figures with 54, 62, Mechagodzilla 74, uh, Rodan from 93, Godzilla 95, and Godzilla 2000. And then back here you can make them out, but we have the Super 7 Reaction Series Godzilla 54, the American Heirloom uh, Godzilla 95 Christmas Ornament, a uh, bootleg Godzilla I got from my old middle school several years back. The Bandai Banpresto King of the Monsters figures, so G2019, Burning Goat, Godzilla, and Ghidorah. And a bootleg dinosaur hybrid Godzilla, so essentially a mixture of different lines. Next on this shelf, we kind of have like an extension of what goes on up, here, up on the previous shelf. And then we got some more miscellaneous official and bootleg figures. So up here we have the bootleg 10 set Gashapon style Godzilla figures, which we have five versions of Godzilla in different colors. Godzilla Jr., Mechagodzilla 74, and Gears from the Show Era. I can tell it's the Show Era. Show Era Gigan, and Zilla or Godzilla 98. And then we have, we have some more minifigures with the Kong GVK minifigures. Because I don't have Godzilla Behemoth yet. Uh, Godzilla 84, Rodan 56, Ghidorah 91, Space Godzilla 94, and Mothra 92, all from the Bandai Blind Bag uh, series. Uh, we have back here there the Jada Toys Godzilla Kong The New Empire keychains, but all four of them Godzilla Kong, Scar King, and Shimo. The Running Press 50, uh, 50 year. The I was looking at that one. The Running Press Godzilla 2014 Light and Sounds. The Trend Masters Mecha Godzilla Bendable with um, Trading Card. The Panic and Destruction Bootleg Set with Gigan, Godzilla, Ghidorah, and Rodan. The uh, Bandai 3.5 inch mini figures of Godzilla Phileas, Godzilla 2004, and Kiryu. And the Running Press Godzilla uh, with Jeep. The Jeep is right here. There you go. And uh, some bootleg AirPod cases of Godzilla and Kong from the MonsterVerse. Yes, they are as derpy as they look. Next up, we've got some more miscellaneous Godzilla stuff with almost all the UB Finger Puppets. I kind of stopped collecting these because, like, they're becoming such a freaking rarity online. But we have the 54s, plus a custom paint 54. Uh, v 54 V2, him biting down on the train. 95 uh, 95 V2s, him like the bubble bath, uh, nine, 90, 2001, uh, uh, unfinished custom, I might actually finish that one, uh, V2 of 2001, several 2004 V2s, several 2014 V2s with a custom paint 2019, and, uh, some Lego Godzilla minifigures from eBay I got a while back, yes, they are bootlegs, some Godzilla keychains from, um, uh, Bio World, there you go. And uh, back there is my custom paint, well, custom Godzilla truck. It's missing its trailer. I've been missing it for like five, six years, so it's okay. And uh, we have um, Circle K's exclusive Godzilla Con the New Empire promotional cups. I actually have two of them. 
the BioWorld Godzilla chromatic mug. Uh, the a bootleg, I guess I'm going to say, custom-made Godzilla travel mug. And the uh, Godzilla coin bank, which... No, it's not on. Nah, thought I was... Thought it was. Eh, whatever. And down here we have some of my NECA boxes, which we have um, the Skull Island Kong, the Versus Biollante version 1, the Versus Mothra, the King of the Monsters poster Mothra, and then behind them you have all the other ones, because back there you got the, um, what is it, the Biollante Bile Attack, the Concrete Jungle poster versions right back there, the original uh, Kong, the V3 Godzilla, and I think back there would be the Tokyo SOS Godzilla going off by Illumination. So yeah, all of them are my the remainder of my Necro Godzilla boxes and Kong boxes. But I know you guys are really here for the figures, so let's continue going with the figures. So here we have my Funko Pop selection of, uh, well, Godzilla and Kong Funko Pops. We have the original Godzilla Funko Pop that was released back in 2015. Uh, the previous exclusive Entertainment Earth Glow in the Dark Godzilla. Then we have some of the Godzilla vs. Kong vinyl pops, which we have Godzilla, Godzilla T Ray, the Pocket Pop Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, the R Battle Ready Kong, the Battle Axe Kong, the Battle Axe Kong Pocket Pop, the Battle Axe Kong uh, exclusive that's flocked. I think it's to Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million. The uh, Kong Battle Scarred version. And we have some of the black lights with Godzilla and Mothra from King of the Monsters, of course. Uh, here we have some of the singular point Funko Pops to round up this section with Godzilla Ultima, Godzilla Ultima with Hiray, and uh, May Kamina with uh, Pelops 2. Speaking of Funko Pops, we have the 10-inch uh, giant Pops with Godzilla and Neon City Kong. I neglected to get the other two just for budgetary reasons. Uh, the Godzilla Diamond Select statue from 91 versus King Ghidorah back there. The large Bandai 2004 Godzilla. I do apologize if my camera's a bit wobbly. I'm just setting it up at a really high point. The Bandai Godzilla 2014 from Creations America, wait, 2015, 14 or 15. The Playmates Giant Godzilla 2004 in the back. The Monster King series Godzilla Phileas, uh, 10 inch version. The Playmates Giant Godzilla back there from 2021's Godzilla vs. Kong. The Giant Kong from 2021's Godzilla vs. Kong. The Diamond Select Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2 uh, PVC statue from Diamond Select Toys back there. And uh, I'm going to just show him just a sec. The Playmates Kong Skull Island Giant Kong from the... Um, yes, it's named this way, the Toho's Classic Series line, or Godzilla and Kong, as it formerly was called. And the what still is the largest Godzilla figure in my collection all these years later, Gigantus the Fire Monster, the giant Chinese bootleg Godzilla that's been ruling the shelves since, I want to say, 2018, when I first got him. But going from something big to something small, here is my Mezco selection, which... Uh, here we have the Mezco King Kong of Skull Island with his accessories in that bag. I pretty much keep all their accessories in a bag. Um, he was kicked off my 6-inch shelf just for space reasons. Uh, the Mezco Destroy All Monsters Round 1 and Round 2 sets. So we have Godzilla 68, Manila, or Minya, Anguirus, Mothra Larva, Rodan, Gorosaurus, King Ghidorah, Baragon, and then we have the Smog Monster set with Godzilla and Ghidorah and... Godzilla and Ghidorah. That's Ghidorah. Godzilla and Hedorah, in, including flying form back there. Mine didn't come with the clear base, unfortunately. And the SDCC exclusive Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah uh, radioactive battle box set. Next, we're off to the 6-inch figures, which, as you can see, it looks a little different. Because I put all the NECAs together, and this is essentially all NECA representation. The reason I decided to do this was because I kind of wanted to just have a little bit more separation when it comes to the individual lines. And plus everything else was kind of like company oriented because I put YouTubes with YouTubes, Playmates with Playmates, well not really Playmates with Playmates up until recently, but as you can see it's all NECA figures so I decided why not do it with 6 inch and it actually looks pretty good so I'm going to keep it this way. So for the Godzilla, actually let's start with the Kongs. We have all four of the Kongs which we have the original Kong from 
2020. And then we have the illustrated version uh, back there based on the famous Monsters of Filmland magazine cover. And then we have the individual Father's Day releases of the Skull Island and the Concrete Jungle versions. I decided to put the individual faces on them because, like, this, it would make him... It would make be obvious that he'd be pissed off in Skull Island because that's his native home. And then in the city, he's often with, um, uh, like, the woman who he loves. Uh, so, Andaro, there you go, that's his name. I had a bit of a brain fart, so it makes sense that he'd have that face. So, I decided, you know, it'd be fitting. Um, and then we got the Godzillas, which we have Godzilla 1954, uh, the, the first figure, uh, with the NES Godzilla, we'll get into him in just a sec. Uh, still in pretty good condition after all these years. The NECA Godzilla 1956 Raymond Burr Godzilla King of the Monsters poster version. I do not have the cardstock um, cutout thing anymore because that was thrown out along with my boxes. <laughs> uh, the NECA Godzilla 1962 from King Kong vs. Godzilla. The NECA Godzilla 1964 from Mothra vs. Godzilla with a little, uh, whoops, stepping on a wire, tripping the whole uh, thing. Uh, Mothra ornament. I didn't have a Mothra figure at the time, so I decided to put this little butterfly ornament after Christmas, but it's been with me since, so why not keep it there? The NECA Godzilla 1988 uh, video game appearance from Godzilla Monster Monsters on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES. The NECA Godzilla 1989 from Godzilla vs. Biollante standard version. The NECA Godzilla 1989 Biollante Bile Attack from Godzilla vs. Biollante. And the NECA Godzilla 1994 from Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. And back here, you can't really see him, but um, I'm just going to decapitate him. That is the NECA Burning Godzilla from 1995's Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Here we have the second and last section of my NECA shelf, which we have... Oh. And we're back to our regular scheduled programming. Uh, with the NECA Loot Crate DX Primal Exclusive... Uh, Godzilla Reactor Glow version from, well, not really from any movie, but just meant to be like a cool color deco of the Burning Godzilla back there. The Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast version from Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah Giant Monster All Attack, or GMK for short. The NECA Godzilla 2003 making an appearance back there from Godzilla Tokyo SOS. The NECA Godzilla 2014 from Godzilla 2014, of course. You've probably seen this guy like a million times on the Air Godzilla show, and you're probably still going to continue to see him. Uh, the NECA Shin Godzilla from Shin Godzilla. Well, more precisely, Godzilla 2016, as he's officially called. But it's Shin Godzilla because of the film. Um, that's actually the bootleg version. Uh, yeah, you probably wouldn't have recognized it if I didn't say anything. Um, the NECA Shin Godzilla Atomic Blast version back there. Because, uh, well, it, that one's official. The original isn't. The NECA Godzilla 2019 V1 from Godzilla King of the Monsters. The NECA Godzilla V2 posters version slash Spitfire version from Godzilla King of the Monsters. And also from Godzilla King of the Monsters, the NECA Burning Godzilla or Godzilla V3. Uh, and then we have the two Mothras from Godzilla KOTM. Version 1 and version 2, the poster version. And then back here, you got the Rodan from uh, KOTM. You can kind of see his wing. It's right there. And uh, just to throw it in there, because I've got it, and uh, NECA sadly no longer making these, the NECA Godzilla 2024 Godzilla Evolved from Godzilla Con the New Empire bootleg, which I got from AliExpress. And I might be getting the other version. I don't know. It all depends. And here's the Bandai fused with um, Playmates shelf. I decided to put the two together because the two companies are actually pretty well linked as far as like business partners go. And plus we got some uh, Bandai re-releases, so it only makes sense, honestly. So what do we got? Um, they go in like year order. So first we have like the Showa era figures, which are sadly my only three reps. Um, the Bandai first Godzilla the from 1954. The Bandai Mechagodzilla 1974, and the Bandai King Caesar from, well, 1974. Moving on to Heisei, we have the Playmates Space Godzilla, the Playmates Destroya, and the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah, and as well as a 1996 bootleg Gamera figure that I bought uh, recently. It's back there, you can't really see him. Can I shimmy him out? Shimmy, shimmy, yay, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, ah, yeah. ah. There you go. Good old Gamera making an appearance. Anyway, let's continue. 
uh, the Trend Masters Zilla Fangbite, or Godzilla 98, sorry. Zilla's technically a different monster. Uh, the Bandai Creations Godzilla 2000, the Bandai Creations Godzilla 2000 Fusion Series, and uh, the Bandai Creations King Ghidorah 2001, and the SH Monsters Godzilla 2001 as well. And here we have the second parts of the shelf, which we have the Playmates Godzilla 2004 6 inch version, and the uh, Playmates Gigan from Godzilla Final War is back there as well from 2004. The Playmates King Kong 2005 from Peter Jackson's King Kong. I forget which set you're from. I think you're from the Versus V Rex set. Uh, the Playmates Godzilla 2014 or 2014. Uh, City Destruction version, which is the only version. The Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Godzilla. And the Bandai Movie Monster Series Shin Godzilla Bootleg. The Playmate Shin Godzilla version 1 and version 2 from the newly branded Toho series. And the Playmates Kong Skull Island 6 inch version. Next we've got the more centric Monsterverse version of the shelf. I know we just had 2014 Skull Island, but we're like going... Full throttle with MonsterVerse here. We have the Haya Toys Godzilla 2021, which is my only Haya Toys figure, specifically the Heat Ray version. The SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2021 from Godzilla vs. Kong. The Playmates kind of like trio of Godzillas that I have with the Heat Ray, the Radio Tower, and the Battle Roar Godzilla, all from vs. Kong. Continuing with the Versus Kong theme lineup, we've got the Battle Axe Kong and the Fighter Jet Kong. We have the Playmates Skull Crawler, of course with battle damage. The Mechagodzilla with Heave. And the Battle Mechagodzilla with the Proton Scream. Next up, we have the second section of the shelf, which we have the SH Monster. It's Godzilla 2021 from Godzilla Ultima, Godzilla Singular Point anime on Netflix. And then we have the Godzilla Con the New Empire collection with the Playmates figures, which we have the uh, Playmates Godzilla original pre-evolved with Heat Ray, the Godzilla skin that comes in the Titan Evolution set, which is technically supposed to be him, the Godzilla evolved from the Titan Evolution set, which basically this guy's like a skin over this figure, and you're like, take it out, like, pretty much skin him alive. Yeah, they thought... Skinny Godzilla Alive would be a great toy. Whatever. It's already sold probably like hotcakes. The Godzilla Evolved with Heat Ray standard 6-inch basic version. And then the rest are like basic 6-inch six six inch figures. The Scar King with Whip Slash. The Kong with Beast Club and also has a heave back here. Suko and Doug with Rock. And the Shimo with the Frostbite Blast. Now this is where it kind of starts to get a little confusing because... These are like miscellaneous figures that don't really fit a certain theme on the shelf because they're one, not directly from like a certain scale, and two, they're kind of unique in their own way. So what do I mean by this? Well, they're a bit bigger, but they're not that large to be considered 10 inch or above. So here we have the Imperial Bootleg. I know it's a bootleg officially because there's no 8 inch of this guy. The uh, Godzilla from 1985. I'm not saying it is from 1985. I'm saying it's based on 1985. And then two bootlegs of this guy, which feature the red one, which has blue eyes, which I actually used as Shin Godzilla on the Air Godzilla show a while back. And uh, we have a kind of like a Dino Heisei Godzilla-like suit Godzilla that's like inspired or takes the mold almost from. And then we have the uh, Playmates Titan Tech Godzilla figures and Kong figures with Godzilla himself and Kong himself. I'm still missing Rodan. And then we have like a dinosaur figure that I actually, uh, my dad gave to me a few years back, which, uh, thank you, dad. I actually saw this guy at a thrift store, like actually with the packaging. It's not really packaging. It's more like a, like a tag type thing. And, uh, we have a, uh, tiny little glow in the dark T-Rex and a animal planet T-Rex. I just decided to keep these in from there on out. And then going to the final shelf of the 6-inch shelf, we have the uh, Godzilla 1989 Diamond Select uh, Bus Bank, which, um, again, is it is 6 inches, but he looks so odd just being half the Godzilla. So, Derpy Godzilla literally fits the name. And then here we have the Playmates um, Godzilla vs. Shimo and Kong vs. Scar King 2-pack Walmart exclusive sets. 
And as you can see, everything's all assembled and they look nice. I originally was going to put it up with the other stuff, but there was just no way I was going to be able to do that with all the figures plus those backdrops included. So unfortunately, these guys are going to have to sit it out for a little while. Going from poster, well, uh, figures to posters, here we have the Godzilla 2014 fan made poster. A new Godzilla, like in the water, I've seen like this water like several times. I wonder if it's like public domain or anything. Like came crushing down on this like ship and this UFO, probably the Zillions. And this KOTM poster printout. This Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla 2 poster printout as well. This uh, Funimation Shin Godzilla poster I actually got at the screening for it in 2016. And uh, this still is in my collection now. I know it's like very worn down, but still got the poster nonetheless. And the KOTM Godzilla from King of the Monsters. And down here on my like Angry Birds mini shelf, um, here we have my Mecha Godzilla Squishmallow. So next up we have the boxes. Yes, we're going over the boxes. You may remember these from the box showcase episodes. So here we have as a temporary place for them, the Godzilla Kong the New Empire um, sets for God Kong vs. Scar King and Godzilla vs. Shimo. It's because like these things are so freaking massive. Like it's not, not easy to fit them in a place where there's a bunch of open boxes, so I'm gonna have to find like a nice place for them. And I think I might've just found it, whatever. We'll shove these off to the side because we just took a look at them. The Giant Kong box and the Mezco Kong of Skull Island boxes. And moving on down here, we have the kind of like uh, series of Godzilla Kong the New Empire boxes, which uh, we have uh, pretty much all of them here. So we've got, uh, the Heat Ray Original, The Evolved, Beast Club Kong, Suko and Doug, Skarking with Whip Slash, Shimo and with Frostbite, and the Titan Evolution Godzilla at the back. Next up, we've got more of like the Playmate stuff, which uh, we have the Godzilla vs. Kong boxes, which we have uh, this one's the Kong Battle Axe, the Godzilla Heat Ray, and the Battle Roar Godzilla. Everything else I got was loose. Uh, Godzilla 2014 in the MonsterVerse style packaging with the City of Destruction. And the Mechagodzilla Battle Roar. Sorry, Battle Roar. Battle Mechagodzilla. I don't own the Battle Roar, nor did I desire to. The uh, Playmates Toho series Shin Godzilla along with the Mint Condition one right there. But uh, that'll be uh, not addressed in this video. We have the like Toho series originals. Not the, the rebranded Toho series Godzilla, but the uh, other ones. Uh, in the back there, we have the uh, original wave, which we have Kong Skull Island, and then we have the originals featuring like Gigan 2004, Space Godzilla, Destroyer Godzilla 2004, and Godzilla 2016 original version. Next up, we have the Funko Pop boxes, which we have Godzilla with Heat Ray, the Black Light Godzilla uh, from Versus Kong, and the Black Light Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters Mothra. We have the three Kongs, which we have the uh, Battle Ready Kong, the Battle Axe Kong Flocked version, and the Battle Scarred Kong, the Godzilla and Kong exclusive two pack, the Godzilla Ultima, of course, and uh, we have the uh, Godzilla Mecha Godzilla Kong three pack exclusive. And then going over here, we have the Godzilla Ultima box, and I do believe back here. Yep, we have May Camino. This almost feels like a store shelf. No, I'm not opening up my own Godzilla store. All of these are mine. Uh, then we have the U2's boxes, which here we have the King Ghidorah box, the Mothra box, the Godzilla box, and the Mecha Godzilla box. And here we have the Kong on Throne and the Godzilla vs. Kong uh, box set. And uh, as for Godzilla with Heat Ray, I do not have his box because I bought his loose. But moving on down here, we have the Godzilla board game from Funko, the Tokyo SOS board game, which I only have, oh, actually ever tried playing once, never actually played it, because that is just, it's probably just because I'm stupid, but I don't know how to play that game. But we do have the DST, um, well, shaky camera right there, the DST Godzilla PVC statue boxes, and then here we have some of the keychain Godzilla Con the New Empire boxes. The Mezco boxes, so we have the Godzilla vs. Hedorah set. Up here we have the Radioactive Battle Box set. And then taking a little loop back here, we have the Round 1 and Round 2 set. Back there sandwiched at the very back is the 
Godzilla versus, I don't know why water goggles are right here. The Godzilla heat ray from Haya. And then up there is the SH Monsters Godzilla 2021. And then here we have the, um, bought the DVDs for all my Godzilla films on, uh, well, physical copies. And then here we have the, uh, two Titan Tech figure boxes. I just kind of like to keep them here. And then here we have some uh, Pocket Pop boxes, the Trend Masters Godzilla Mecha Godzilla Bendable box, the uh, Deformation King series Godzilla boxes with Burning Godzilla, Godzilla Standard, and the Godzilla King Ghidorah. And back there, the Heirloom Godzilla box. It's the big red square one, and below that, you can kind of see it's the 65 year anniversary. The, um, what is it? The Vinnie Mates Godzilla box. And it's very hard to see under all this crud, but you can kind of see, um, actually, no, that wouldn't be it. Actually, um, sandwiched underneath all this is the box for the chromatic mug that I got several years ago. So, it's somewhere under all this. And rounding out the video, we have this giant Godzilla 1954 poster. And the King of Beasts artwork by my own sister, which is like a 2014 reference poster. So kudos to her for printing it out and giving it to me. And so we've officially come to the end of the video. Um, pretty much talking about it, I want to give, well, I do have some things to say. Uh, I didn't show the, um, what is it, the costume that I have because that'll be in its own video. But I do have it. It's stored away right now, but I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to my family for gifting me with all these Godzilla and Kong figures throughout the years. And I know that sounds like I'm like, this will be the last one. No, I want to continue collecting. As shocking as that sounds, I want to continue collecting. Like, I've had so much fun throughout these years collecting these figures and it's just been such a blast getting the next one sure it doesn't feel as exciting as it once was when i was a little kid now i'm an adult but it just feels so amazing the fact that like all of these figures like it's amazing i go from just four NECA figures and a set of bootlegs to all of this like this in this one frame is more figures than i owned in the entirety of 2016 i think well actually i think like mid to mid 2016 before i really like took off with godzilla but with that being said again i hope that up uh, with the banging upstairs i again want to thank all the people who've chipped in and bought me godzilla merch over the years or maybe it's, it was my own doing but you know what still i want to thank everyone and uh thank you for watching this video if you guys liked it leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time peace out everyone